Hey everyone, it's the biggest night in Hollywood, the Oscars. We're at the DirecTV streaming party hosted by Rob Lowe, talking to the stars on the red carpet. Make sure you stay tuned to see who we interview. We're here with Audrina. You guys know her and love her. We've been watching you for years on TV. It's so nice to see you. You don't look any age older than what when we were first introduced to you. Thank you. I feel a lot older, but I guess I'm more wiser. Wiser. Yeah. You go. When the hills ended, it was like, was it really real? You know, was it? We hated hearing that it wasn't. So, what can you say that I'm sure that you haven't said over the years yeah. of something that we may not have known when you were filming? Like, how were you feeling during that time? It was, well, the second round of The Hills was a little harder for me because I couldn't include a lot of my real life. So, I had my show life and I had my four storylines and then I had my real life. And sometimes my real life would affect how I felt going into a scene on the show that was didn't really, I don't know, it wasn't any part of my real life. So for me, that was a struggle, but I just had to like compartmentalize and just improv. And you're doing that. So this upcoming season, yes. what can we, without telling us too much, what can we expect from your storyline with the other ladies and the other family dynamics? I think season one, I was, a little bit more reserved. I think you're going to get to see a lot more of my personality, hear a lot more of my thoughts and opinions, and that might ruffle a few feathers, you know, um, but I'm very in a, unapologetically me, you know, and I think that was very important for me this season is to just show up as myself. Is it hard being so vulnerable with the world? I mean, it's one thing to share and kind of uh, cultivate what you want on social media, right? Yeah. But then when you are when you don't really have the ability to edit and yeah. produce, yeah. you never know how it's going to pan you out. Don't. You don't. But you know what I think Bravo's been really good at? Showing us exactly how we come. You know, they don't make us look like what we're not. And I think that's that was the best thing that I took away from season one. Like, okay, you know what? I can trust my producers. I can show up as me. And what I give them is the content that they can use. So I think overall, it's going to be an, a really, really, really amazing season. I think season one was good, but season two? It's coming. It's, it's epic. It's epic. It's epic. Hi, Natalie. You look beautiful Thank today. You. You're Thank carrying you. an extra little person with I us. am. There's two of us. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel so good. I feel like I could run a marathon right now. I love that. I need your energy. I'm getting all this superwoman energy, so I feel great taking advantage of it. My baby's first red carpet. My baby's first Oscars. It's a big, big night. How do you feel about the nominees? Do you have your money on somebody? I'm rooting for everyone. I was just saying that like it's really the, the speeches that really inspire me. And when I see somebody win, I'm just I'm so happy for them. I, I've seen pretty much all of the films and, and I'm like really excited for everyone. What's something about Atlanta that most people don't know just watching TV from Housewives to Married to Medicine? What's something just about the culture of Atlanta that you want people to know? Okay, so I grew up outside of Atlanta in Athens, uh, home of the mighty University of Georgia, where I'm the fourth generation of the University of Georgia School of Law president this year. However, um, the beautiful thing about Atlanta is, is it's a place where African-American people in particular can thrive. So when you come to Atlanta, if you're a person of color, you see it as far as from the mayor all the way down to your physicians, your lawyers, uh, your judges. And so it is a, a place where people of color can really thrive and really, if you you have a great work ethic, you can make a fortune. How do you deal with all of the naysayers? Do you feel misunderstood? Do you feel like your story is finally coming to, to terms with everybody? How are you feeling about it? Well, I've always been told to trust the process, which I do. Sometimes I do think that people misunderstand me. I mean, I'm a human, right? And we all have different perceptions of each other. I think over the years, I've just become more confident in that no matter what, I am being true to myself. So if people don't understand me, then really the onus is on them to figure it out. Would you keep the cast the way it is right now? The miscongeniality that I am, I would say yes, but unfortunately, I don't know if that's possible. Just because of how deep-rooted the issues are, I don't know if we can keep our cast and keep going. The reality is, I've had such horrible moments with every lady on the show, Karen, Giselle, everybody, right? And now we're able to converse and be, you know, 
cordial with each other. So I feel like if I can do it, then anyone can do it. Streaming the Oscars tonight. What does it feel like to kind of stream it in this way um, at like a streaming party with DirecTV? Is this fun for you or would you rather be snuggled up in the bed? Oh my God. This is a this is a dream. I am a housewife stan. Okay. And to be in the room with the icons the of Bravo all icons, Lebr the Bravo celebrities are here in full force. Right, right, right. And it's an honor. It's truly an honor. So no, I don't want to be in bed. I want to be here. You want to be here. You're at the right place at the right time. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect from you this year. This year, I am. I have the honor, the privilege of having my own TV show coming out in June. Um, now, unfortunately, it is a Canadian show, as I am Canadian. Um, but to be here now and be um, working in traditional media, going from digital to traditional, is crazy. Um, and also just being in this space as a reality star myself is insane. Um, I parody the Housewives, the Kardashians and stuff. And so being able to say that now I have my own show is absolutely incredible. Um, and I'm also just so excited for people to see the show that we created and, and what we've worked on. It's stupid. We've made the world's stupidest show. I love that. Yeah. But made for TV with Bowman Martinez-Reed. It's coming your way.